Air Visa buying CyberSource. We kind of got that headline out in the midst of the earnings. $2 billion, but the idea here is for Visa basically to just improve its offering of online payment services. Also, they say to help fight fraud. Let's talk a bit more about the numbers as well, because this is not a small transaction. $2 billion, it's $26 a share. If you're a CyberSource shareholder, you're getting a 34% premium over yesterday's close of $19.44. Uh, CyberSource does operate a global payment processing network, except it's on the internet as opposed to the kinds of things you're used to from Visa, which is an in-store payment processing network. And so the idea here clearly is to, as Deirdre was saying, make Visa a bit more of a power on the internet. That's where a lot of the competitive action is now with services such as and PayPal. Yes, and you talked about that premium paid and the deal Visa is saying actually is going to reduce Visa's fiscal fourth quarter numbers by four or five cents a share. They also say it will be slightly dilutive to fiscal 2011 results. That is according to Visa and you can see how those stocks are responding in the pre-market. Not a surprise there. You do have Visa as the acquirer heading lower but not by much there. I mean it doesn't seem like the market is judging too harshly that 34 percent premium. You have Visa down just shy of one percent. CyberSource though as you can see there a huge rally for the stock. It is up more than 23%. More than 23% right now, but actually CyberSource had been down 3.3% for the year, so not enjoying the kind of enthusiasm that investors have shown for stocks like Visa, for example, up almost 8% for the year, or MasterCard. So this, without question, very good news for CyberSource investors, yeah. provided they decide to approve this offer from Visa. It is subject to shareholder approval.